This is part two of my uh, video response to Kyle Awesome. I found out that uh, a good way to tell the differences between, well, he mentioned in my comment on one of his videos that uh, a good way to tell which is positive and which is negative. If you have one of these multimeters, it's not the fanciest one, but it's something I have laying around. It's made by Syntec Digital Multimeter. I actually have two of these. The other one's still in the packaging. So other than that, let's go ahead and turn this on. Have it set to uh, continuity mode. And to prove that works, I'll touch the ends. Uh, see, you got continuity with the numbers going down. So we're going to demonstrate with Pokemon Emerald once again. The easy way to tell, um, I'm going to use Emerald because opening the other two is a challenge I gotta use with fingernail as mentioned. I know in the last video I said battery, I meant to say tri-wing screw. Just like the real cartridges, they take a tri-wing screwdriver to open. So and this slides down just like that. There you have your board. And the boards are similar on those two as well, so. I don't know if you can see that, but my camera can autofocus. There we go. Now let's bring the multimeter next to it. Let's uh, scoop this back a little. Build the camera a little. So, a good way to tell is uh, you point out one of the uh, points on the pins and Okay, maybe this isn't a good angle, but but look at the numbers on the multimeter, if you can see. See? That's negative. And that's positive. A good way to tell is you point uh, one of the uh, points on the ground pin. If you have one of those fancier multimeters, you'll get a beep. Mine doesn't have that. It just has the numbers, but at least it's doing the job like it's supposed to. And just out of curiosity, let me go ahead and move Emerald out of the way and demonstrate with Ruby and Sapphire, because why not? Take the screw out of Ruby. Here's Ruby. Similar board design, although the traces may look different. Well, the chips may look different, but it's no different. Now I'll do the same trick. Stick the uh, black one on the ground pin and the uh, red one on the contact. So pay attention. As you can see, the numbers. There you have it, that's negative and positive just such just for the heck of it. And last but not least, sapphire, which I'm gonna do off camera. Well, the taking the screw out part off camera that is. Sorry about that. Sapphire likes to be a little stubborn. Here's a better idea. There we go. Why didn't I think of that? Here I go. Uh, 
I don't know if you can see the numbers, but there you have it. But that's to give you an idea. So if you have the same Game Boy Advance uh, bootleg cartridge that looks something like, well, like this, just so you know and you want to do that mod, the bottom one is your negative and your top one is positive. Even though I should have realized there was a little plus symbol on the top one, but I wasn't sure if that was the case or not. So there you have it. If you're uh, unsure which uh, is positive, which one's negative, get a multimeter. It doesn't have to be any fancy one. It could be just this generic one that I got at Harbor Freight. So, other than that, thanks for watching. This is Reek Rex 71 signing off.